Hey everybody, this is Lord Magicus, and this week we're going to play Mono Blue Merfolk in Modern. So, yeah, Modern Horizons 2 is now on MTGO, so we are going to play with a bunch of the new cards. We got Sivellen, uh, yeah, the uh, goddess of sea and sky, yeah, so um, she's ridiculously powerful, what can I say? I I've watched a bunch of people play matches with this card already, it's just absolutely insane. So, uh, card advantage, it, you know... You can play it into like Supreme Verdict, and you know you get you lose like two guys, but you still keep like the most important thing. Um, it protects your other guys from removal, a lot like um, Unsettled Mariner does. This card's insane. There are a ton of different shells that we could try to play this in. Um, I've been looking at a couple, maybe one like Simic, maybe like this. Uh, you maybe play like a blue white one, might look like this, but we're gonna start with mono blue, so. Just keep it nice and simple, because we got a lot of mono blue upgrades, so if we can, yeah, the mana base is always, you know, it's, it's better when you can keep it uh, simple. Uh, so yeah, like we're, yeah, easy four of them going to jam this. Um, Rishid and Dockhand is another one, this was one of the first cards that was spoiled from the set. So uh, Rishid and Port on a stick, uh, it's also a one two with Island Walk, which is nice, because it means you can actually attack even when you don't have a Lord out sometimes. Um, it's, it, it, it's, I'm not, we're not sure, like, how good this is just yet, because you do have to tap mana to do this, and a lot of times we want to be tapping out, but I want to have more one drops in the deck, and, like, there are decks that this is going to be good against, so I'm interested to try it. The other new one that we're trying is Tide Shaper, which is an uncommon, but it is also arguably one of the best upgrades Merfolk has gotten in forever. So... Tide Shaper is spreading seas on a stick. It it's a two-two if your opponent controls an island. So if you're up against say like Esper Control, you might not even need to kick it. It just a one mana two-two against some of those decks. Otherwise, you know you pay the kicker and then um, you turn and land into an island for as long as this is in play. And this is a two-two, so it's very good. Uh, the only thing that kind of is awkward is that most of the time you probably want to play this card on two. So like when you have two mana so you can kick it um, you can play it in turn one you can vial it in on one but it's not you know you're not gonna get to use the kicker if you like yeah then so then maybe there's a balance between dock hand and tide shaper that's why like Christian and dock hand is something that you want to play on turn one because you, you know the sooner you play it the sooner you can activate it whereas like this is something you probably want to wait till you have two mana for so we'll see how that plays out uh, otherwise, you know, we got our standard shell here. One thing I want to note is because Savellan is so good, we probably want to be taking Vial up to three a lot of times to play this card. And if you're taking Vial to three, make sure you have other cards in your deck that you can put into play on with Vial on three. That's why I'm playing like two Glass Pool Mimics and two or three Marrow Regeries. I think this is totally fine. Um, yeah, this gives us a bunch of stuff. So that one, once it's on three, it's not a dead card. Uh, other than that. A bunch of Cavern of Souls because you know we also we now have Counter Spell in this format, so we're playing it. Uh, the control decks are playing it. Counter Spell is very good. It's an upgrade over Deprive. So just to hedge against the control decks a little bit, we have more uh, Cavern of Souls here. I'm only going to play two Muta Vaults. Um, I don't want to overdo it on this. We only have 19 lands and two Glass Pools. I want to make sure I have enough untapped blue mana, so if I need to cast like Force or Counter Spell, I can do it pretty easily. So, I mean, you could easily go maybe like two Cavern of Souls, three Muta Vault, something like that. That's that's perfectly reasonable, but I'm going to try it like this first, and we'll see how it goes. You could also play Waterlog Groves, but I'm going to play Dismember in my list. Some people have tried Suspend to start off with. I don't want to go there just yet. Let's, we know that this card works, especially with the brown mana that we get from Cavern and Muta Vault, so I want to keep this here. And Dismember is not usually very good when you have Waterlog Groves in the deck, so... I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stray away from it until then. For now, I'm just keep this nice and simple. Uh, but you know what? There is one thing that we can do now, because if you notice, we still have 12 snow-covered islands. We don't need to play those anymore. And actually, we probably shouldn't be playing them now because there's there is actually a hate card against them. So everybody, wave goodbye to the snow-covered islands. Here we go. Get out of this deck. I don't like you. No, I don't want to ever see these in my deck again. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we can 
we could play this one, but I'm gonna play the uh, Well Island. Um, I like the Eldraine one. Of course, in paper, I play with my Zendikar 236s. They're really cool. I've shown them off on the Discord a bunch and everything. Uh, can I find it here? I can. I'll show it. Uh, not quite. There are so many cards that say the word island on them. I want the one that says exactly island. Um, type land. <laughs> but maybe that'll fix it a little bit. All right, come on. Let's, I want to, wait, okay, we're getting somewhere. Um, nope, that's older than that. Where are we at here? Ocean Island. Come on. No. Oh. You know what? No. This is yeah, we're we're spending the time doing this. You know why? Because islands are pretty, and we don't have to play the stupid snow-covered ones now. So we can actually play our favorite islands again. And it's it's specifically because now there is a card that blows up snow islands and, and or colorless lands. So. Um, that's a card that Jund is very likely to sideboard against Tron. So now Jund and Tron are doing the work of keeping, you know, Snowlands from being a thing. Oh, no, not that one. This one! This is the one. Here we go. This guy. Yeah, th this is the one I like to play in paper. It's so pretty. And it looks really good in foil. Like, even online it actually looks really good in foil, so. Alright, oh god. What did I do here? Uh, no, no, no. There we go. All right, we're back to my collection. <laughs> so yeah, I don't own them on MTGO, but that's fine because the Well Islands will do just fine. So there we go. That's our deck list. That's what we're gonna play, and let's hope that we can have some fun. There's a lot of really cool and interesting decks out right now. There's some that seem like really powerful, but we'll have to see how the meta shakes out for them. So um, yeah, we're we'll just. In the meantime, I'm just running kind of a generic sideboard. We're just playing counter spells, chalice, relic, an extra copy of dismember, and then two borrowers just in case we go up against like bridge or something. So, very very generic. Once we have an idea what the meta looks like, then we can um, we can narrow it down a little bit. So let's take this out into a league. Okay, here we go. We are on the draw. We're up against X Stay True One One O Two. Okay. We've got a picture, I think, of Soren. It was really edgy. <laughs> uh, this hand looks fine. We'll keep it. Oh, I gotta fix this. Client updated. Yeah. There we go. That's good enough. Uh, yeah, that's okay. We can live like this. Get some land and some spells. Bloodstained Mire. Alright, so what do we got? Could play Glass Pool on turn one. Is this Jund? Bloodstained into Stomping Ground? Ignoble Hire. That looks like Jund to me. Maybe I need to dis. Well, I might need to dismember this because of Liliana the Veil, vale, actually, so. As stupid as this seems, like, I don't want them getting Liliana on line next turn. Let's just not do that. Ignoble Hierarch is a really big pickup for that deck. Yeah, this definitely looks like a gem deck. Probably Tarmogoy for, no, Renin 6. All right. Not great. I'm not happy to see Ren and Six, but um, could maybe Tide Shaper this thing. We'll turn off the Peatland. Their black mana is usually more important, so we'll hit that. So this is now a 2-2. Two -two. So Ren and Six cannot kill this as long as this is over here.
This isn't really the ideal hand for Jund. Like, I can't play the Silvergill because of the Ren and Six here. I mean, I think we kind of had to kill this, because, like, yeah, otherwise they just jam turn two Lily, and it's super hard to get out from underneath. Especially when they're on the play. You are not fatal pushing this. You need Lightning Bolt to get rid of this thing. Uh, so, the good thing is, even if they, like, play the fetch land and get a black source, they're not going to play Liliana this turn. They're going to have to get a black mana and use it, and then they're not going to be able to play it. So, Alright, let's... X Drinker, oof, that's not great. Nope, they're using the mana for something, alright. Bolt? Yeah, alright. That's bad, this means we are super far behind. They have a Hex Drinker that's going to get online, like, just, this is so bad, alright. Hmm. Um... I guess I could trickster this thing if they try to level it up. And then maybe next turn play like Silvergill plus Master. I'll wait until they tap some mana for this first. Well, they don't they're not going for Liliana here, so that's worth noting. So if they tap a land to level this up, then I will trickster it. Maybe I have to let them tap two. It'll be a 4-4, four, four, but at least, like... Not only has protection from instants, it won't have protection from trickster. Okay, well, I have to make my move now, because they're going to take it otherwise, so... You're not leveling this up this turn. I'll probably take Silvergill or even Master is fine here because like I can't really play this in here, so it's not good. I think I might take Master with Thoughtseize if I'm the Gen player. This is not a good spot for us. We need our Goddess. It's like the only thing that's going to help us right now. Yep, they took the Lord. Yeah, they had a they had a great hand in the play. Our hand was only like very medium. Uh, what's this? Terminate. Okay, they're going really fucking old school on this. All right. Um, guess I'm gonna have to play Regery. I can't. I put. I still can't play this because of Ren and Six. So, and they know that this is what's in my hand. So there's not really any point to, uh, you yeah, know, like, they're not hiding anything. They still know about these, so. It's not good. This is not a way I wanted to start this off, but it's all right. They get their upgrades, too. Their old tech, as it were. I think we're just dead. We just keep having everything. Now, I have nothing to stop this now. The Ren and Sex is going to get, like, retraced Lightning Bolt online. Like, I think we basically are dead. Alright. Uh, yeah. The, the, we are not beating all of that. That's just too much. Okay. Uh, so. I think I need this member. Um. Hmm. And that's. I don't think Glass Pool Mimic is very good against them. I actually don't like Force of Negation very much either.
They're probably playing like four lilies now, but or, yeah, but like yeah, this is just sketchy as hell. Relic is probably really good. I guess the question is, do I want force or do I want counter spell? Probably need force just because if they play early Liliana, I need to counter it. I guess they'll do it like this. All right. Yeah, it was rough. There's not much we could really do there. The hand was not nearly good enough to beat what they had going on. Especially on the draw. Like, when we're on the draw and they have, like, the mana dork on the play, that's that's a beating. It's like the, the good old glory days of Jund when they had Deathrite Shaman. I would love to play first. Fuck, this hand is so bad. I can't keep this. Like... Alright, this is better, I guess. I just put, like, a, an island in the bottom. I think this is much better. Or, actually, probably Cavern of Souls. I don't really need Cavern against this deck. They're not countering anything. Mm-hmm. Still gotta be careful because they can just very easily play turn two, run in six. Just ping my silver gill adept. Alright. At least now if they play Ren and Six, then um they're yeah, it's not gonna kill the Lord, so they have to choose between do you play Ren and Six and then just get your Bloodstained Mire back? Or do you want to play like a Blightning Bolt here? Could be Dark Confidence. Oh, Inquisition? Alright, yeah. Well, they probably have to take this, because this card is like the real beating against them. This is why we need four copies of this, because this is like the strongest thing we have against Jund. It's our version of Dark Confidant. It draws us two cards a turn. And it's very hard to remove. They took fucking Silvergill Adept. That's surprising. Maybe they're just hoping we won't draw a land to play this. I mean, I would very much like to draw a land. Alright, so they do Bolt. This could also mean Liliana's coming online, so... They just play, like, they, that might have been their plan. If we played this, then they just play Liliana, make a sacrifice. Uh, it's rough. Ren and six. Okay. It's not too bad. I can deal with this. Well, unless they have, like, another bolt or something, then that's a problem. I just, I don't want to jam this out until Liliana, but I don't really have an alternative now, because no, we're falling behind pretty far. This looks like Lightning Bolt. Alright, we're running out of cards very quickly. It, uh... I guess I'm going to try to turn off the Blood Crypt. This is not looking good though. It's awesome. Yeah, like, we mulligan this game and like I don't think they did at all. So. Yeah, they kept seven cards. Like, it, that's just, that's rough. And once again, their hand is just, like, full of removal and planeswalkers, so. 
Let's terminate. What's going on? Looks like terminate. Oh, okay. Collective brutality. Maybe that means they're worried about master waves. All right. Uh, Mara Regery, go. Again, I'm trying to play around Lily. So at least if they play it and make a sacrifice, then it's not going to be this thing. Uh, this is terminate. All right. All right. Well, probably next turn we're just going to have to take a chance and just play it and hope. There's not really another way around that. They they have had removal four turns in a row. That's just nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's nothing I can do about this. Bloodbraid Elf. Now they're activating Ravine. Okay, that's. I mean, it's not great, but that's that does mean that. Probably no Liliana. So I imagine it would have been better to play that this turn. I really, really want to play this thing. I have to get this out. Dockhand can start turning this thing offline, but yeah, I don't know. If they can kill this, then we're in trouble. Alright, what do you got? Season Pyromancer. That's actually not that big a deal. I can live through this. Maybe this means they're out of removal. If they terminate this, then we're in deep shit. Well, they drew three cards. Alright, they found Terminate. Fuck. Alright, well, there we go. Like, five turns in a row. They just had it. Uh, why? We can't do this now. There's nothing we... Yeah, we, we can't win without our goddess here. The, this, the only card that's going to keep us in the game versus this Ren and Six. Like, now it's just over. This does not matter. Ren and Six is going to get an emblem, and they can just retrace, like, lightning bolts every turn for the rest of the game. We are very fucked. There's no point to not F6ing here, because even if we had Force, I couldn't cast it. Yeah, they have an emblem. Like, we can't beat this. If, uh, they just played removal five turns in a row, so... I can't... I cannot beat that. That's just... Especially when we've mulliganed. That's too much. Alright. We're, we're dead. This is over. There is no way that we are beating any of this, so let's fine. We'll move on with their lives. I don't know. Jun, they, they had like insane draws the both games, so it is what it is. That's going to happen sometimes. All right. Well, hopefully the rest of this league will get to see what other interesting deck lists are out there. But yeah, this looks very powerful, and to be honest, like, I don't think that there was basically any sequence of draws that we had, but it was going to beat that. That's just way, way too much hate, so... All right, everybody. I will see you again tomorrow. Take it easy.